What I'd like to discuss with you guys today is the idea of word form. So this is a very common mistake we see as English teachers, and it's very important that you think about this when you learn new vocab. So there are many different kinds of word forms, but the three main ones that I want to focus on are verbs, nouns, and adjectives. Of course, there are adverbs and there's other word forms that are important too, but those three are what we want to concentrate on. Now, students have their little notebook and they write these words down and sometimes teachers are good on this and sometimes students are good on it and they have the different columns for the word forms. Now that works, but you also need to remember patterns. What kind of pattern can you use those word forms in? Now, patterns are a normal thing. We see them every day in life. Here are some good examples of patterns here. As a learner, when you were a kid, when you were a young child, you would have been using patterns to learn your language and you see them all the time in other kinds of learning. For example, in maths where you have a formula. There are patterns that we can use in language too. And we need to think about those word forms and how they might fit into some patterns. So right now I'd like to show you three basic patterns where we can use the three common word forms. So let's think about the word information. Most people know that that word, that sometimes they're not so sure of the other word forms. So information's a noun, but it can be an adjective, we can say informative, and it can be a verb, inform. So there's the one word, inform, but we've got the three different forms of it. Now let's think about some patterns and ways that we can use it. Here is a nice simple pattern as an adjective. It is informative. Here's another pattern. We inform students. And here's a third pattern. Information is necessary. So these three nice ways that you can use different word forms and th three very small, short, simple patterns. Let's practice that pattern with some new vocab items. These are words vocab that my students have learned recently in the topic that we're studying and the two words that they've been practicing and learning is manipulate and censorship. But let's focus on that manipulate. So the first thing to think about is what might be the different word forms of manipulate. Here's a clue. Look at inform and information. It's very similar to that. Once you've considered the word form, then think about the pattern. So which word form will you fit in the right place in the pattern. Now, let's see if you can discover this. That's right, it's ing plus the adjective, isn't it? This is a common way of starting a sentence or providing the subject of a sentence. Although all these look similar, they've got ing and the adjective, there are some differences and those differences are important. Can you see how the different kinds of adjectives change the meaning of the subject? You need to learn more patterns, sentences. you need to learn your new vocab. When you learn the new vocab, remember what are the other word forms and practice yourself. Go back and think about patterns that you could use. As we continue, I'll show you some more patterns. There's a lot more patterns that we can use and we'll focus on them at